Hey everybody, High Flyers Tag Team back with a new video again today. On today's video, we'll be talking about the brand new Fells Toy Store Ready Player One Mecha Godzilla Custom. This isn't an official figure. This is made by a third party. Um, this is pretty big. I mean, the fig I mean the figure itself is big. That's not what I mean. But the fact that we actually have an Ready Player One thing in hand is pretty nuts. But it's here, and it comes with a little bit of an instruction manual here, real quick, as you guys can see. Uh, before I assemble it, I believe that's for the big NECA uh, 2014 figure. But it comes with a tail here, as you can see. And there's a ball joint in there. Like, this is, like, professionally done. It's kind of nuts. I've already messed with it some. Let's see if I can get the tail on there easily or not. Hey, everyone. Editing Kyle here. <laughs> so, uh, somehow the audio did not record on this part. So, I will be commentating over my review since, for some reason, there's zero audio. Basically, though... I did end up having to use a hairdryer. I was kind of confused because I thought this was made of metal. Uh, I don't know if it, what it's actually made out of because I did notice later on that whenever you push on certain parts, it moves easily, not like how metal would. But yeah, for some reason, it it I had to actually use the hairdryer. Uh, but the tail went in, and as I do discuss, I mean the figure is absolutely gorgeous. You can just see how beautiful it is, but it's not a toy. I would not buy this for kids, for any parents watching this. This is specifically a collector's item, <laughs> it, it definitely. It's very well made, it's very high class, it's very high quality. But I do think some of parts of it and stuff are made of some sort of metal material. And whatever the, it is, whatever the case may be, it is sharp. The dorsal plates are kind of hard and sharp. And some areas of this figure are a little loose for me, but I think it's going to be different for everyone. But yeah, like I said, I mean, like... You see me rubbing that right now. Doing something light like that, I mean, I could literally feel, like, I have the figure in my hand right now doing it. It feels like teeth just grazing across your finger, like little shark teeth. So, again, I would be careful because I could see, like, a kid or something smacking someone with this, um, you know, something nuts. But, yeah, just thought I'd warn everyone. But for articulation now, the head can do a complete 360 rotation. Uh, you can also open and close the mouth here. The neck can move some. It doesn't really turn much, but you can turn it a little bit. I, I'm not sure if it's supposed to move. I assume it is. It looks like it's made like that. And the same, th the same things here with like the abdomen there. You can move it some, but it just kind of moves back. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, for some reason they have it like that. For the arms, the arms are on some sort of like ball joint, so you can move them outwards some, but you can also do a nice 360 rotation with them, which is quite surprising. You can get some good articulation with this guy, um, and that's very appreciated. I do not know exactly. I haven't experimented enough with it yet to see if you can move the arms out like he did in the movie. He was going to shoot his rockets, but um, he does have articulation at the elbows too. They can go that far out and that far forward, obviously both hands. Um, something that is a little disappointing with this figure is that there is no wrist articulation or like hand articulation per se. They can just like open and close. As you can see right now, you can kind of open and close the hand. You can't really turn it or anything, which uh, I was like, oh, that sucks. But, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, the, the left hand on mine is a little, a little loose for some reason. I'm not sure what that's all about. But, yeah, no, I mean, it's still cool that there is still something with it you can do. You just can't really turn it like most normal figures. Um, and whenever I decide to move on... The legs do also have articulation. Uh, the thing is that it's very interesting because I feel like you might be able to get a 360 rotation with it. Um, but you would have to move the arms a certain way. I did not test with it on this part of the video. Uh, but as you can see right here, the legs can turn quite a bit. I can't really tell if it's on a ball joint. But the way it's made, it's not going to be able to go in and out much anyway. So I wouldn't even really worry about that. Um... But the, it can also, it has articulation at the knees. You can open and close the knees uh, on both sides. And the ankles, surprisingly, also have a form of articulation. As you can kind of lift up and down on the ankles, you can get like the feet in different positions and stuff. So as you can see right there on both feet, there you go. And then you just, if you want to, you can just set it back into place to stand them up. The tail has some articulation. 
Uh, it has like two points of articulation. The one area was on a ball joint. Again, a lot of these are kind of tight, so you're going to have to experiment with the sum if you're someone who wants to do that, really likes to use it for stop motion and stuff. If you're willing to go out of your way to experiment with it and get the joints loosened, you have a lot of articulation with this guy, which is very cool. Uh, for accessories, so I bought the standard. There's two versions of this guy. There's the standard and the atomic breath one. The atomic breath one just comes with a NECA atomic breath piece from like the 62 figure that's like blue. But both of them come with these rockets, as you can see right there, which on his shoulders, there's like these hinge points where you can put it in the hole. And yeah, you can get the rockets up on his shoulder, even though that's not something he had in the movie at all. It's just some cool little dynamic thing that they decided to do for this guy. And you can get some unique stuff with him. But that is all for editing Kyle. We're about to return the past Kyle. So thank you all. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. All right, so just to show exactly how big this dude is, I got a few comparisons here. So first up, here is the Bandai Movie Monster Series Kiryu. As you can see, it's the six inch line. And as you can see, the Ready Player One Mechagodzilla towers him, literally looks down upon him. He's in the eight inch line. I don't I don't think I've really ever collected any eight inch figure specifically to make a good comparison. Um, but there he is next to that one. Up next is the Playmates Mechagodzilla 2021 uh, from GVK, obviously. Uh, it's kind of funny because these two were designed by the same guy. And if you stand it upright, you can get the Playmates, if you can bend the tail and stuff, you can get the Playmates about, oddly enough, up to his height almost. Uh, you, can, you can get it pretty high up there. Uh, since it comes with a bendy tail, you can make a stand up like this. But... It's still not enough. Even at the tallest I can make it stand, it still comes up below its head. So the playmate still gets defeated in height by this dude. Finally now, uh, for my last comparison, I have I believe it's the Masters line, Anime Mechagodzilla. Uh, for a good comparison, this is also a 6-inch, but it definitely isn't. Uh, but... There you guys go. Here's comparison between these. This dude is absolutely huge over here on the right. He's a pretty huge figure. And as you can see, though, he still gets kind of dwarfed. Yeah, he still gets kind of shat on by uh, the Ready Player One custom. So there you guys go. So what do you guys think of the Ready Player One Mecha Godzilla? If you guys did enjoy this figure, uh, I will link in the description below. I'll give you guys a link to where to purchase it. Again, I bought the standard, but there is a uh, another one that comes with an atomic breath piece. Not this atomic breath piece. It's like the 62 one, but colored blue. And there you guys go. Finally here, we got finally got some sort of Ready Player One figure that's pretty high quality, I must say. I'm very impressed. This is not a bad quality custom at all. It's very well done. I This is something that, like, I, this is something I can see being an official release. That he did, whoever, like, Vell Stores, you did a great job, man. And I do hope, you know, people do support this. And, again, who knows? I made a petition a few years ago to get an official figure of this guy. And, well, we got this for now. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys want an official one, too? But, for now, this guy, he's only about 30 to $40. Uh, I think that's pre-shipping. It comes from China, so it takes a little bit. But, if you guys do like this figure... And again, give him some support. And if you did enjoy this video, as always, please share, subscribe. Hope everyone has a great day. And as always, peace out and bye-bye.